Hello everyone, Audie here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Souls. This is the remastered edition, just as a reminder, in case that wasn't apparent. Now, uh, for the first time in the playthrough, I actually did some stuff off camera. I just felt it was the only way I was ever going to level up my Chaos Servant Covenant. So, one of the people in chat did suggest that I went to go to the place with the baby skeletons to farm humanity, and I did eventually do that. At first, though, I tried to do some boss fights in co-op. So I fought the Demon Fire Sage a couple times, but it takes so long to get summoned that I gave up and then went to go farm the skeletons. And I got tons of humanity. It's a really effective way to get humanity. It's, it's absolutely insane how much you can get. Like right now, I have 14, and this is after I already gave like over 20 humanity to the, to the Chaos Servant Covenant. And I got this. Chaos Storm. Here's what it looks like. Look at that! That was great. And then I got the Chaos Fireball, so I got both of the Chaos spells here. I don't have enough attunement to put the whip on, but I do have a ring that would allow me to do that. So maybe I'll do that in the future. Now, after that, I came back to this guy. Oh, and I also upgraded my Estus Flask to plus four. I had a Firekeeper Soul that I noticed that I had forgotten about for a while, and I, I finally used it. So now we have plus four for the flasks. I did not do any leveling. I'm still the same level that I was when you last saw me. Uh, so I spent the rest of my souls on upgrade material so that I could be prepared to upgrade another weapon. I also upgraded my shield to plus 10, and when I did that, I noticed mm -hmm. something. Check this out. Oh, and off camera, I went to the skeleton blacksmith, and I gave him the very large... I gave him, like, the large fire ember and the chaos ember. Um, but if we go to modify equipment, now that I have the blood shield to plus 10, this popped up. I can make the Great Shield of Artorius. Ooh, boy. <laughs> I feel like maybe I want to do this. Now, if you take a look here, uh, here's what I'll be, what will change. I have a great increase in stability. The weight is, like, way heavier, so hopefully I'll be able to wield it. Um, I do have enough strength, just enough. It requires 34 strength. So, lucky me, I have exactly 34 strength. And my magic defense is going to go up to 50, Fire is going to go up to 80, and I'm going to lose 10 absorption points for lightning. I think that's a fair trade. I think I want to do it. I think I do. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. Great Shield of Artorius. Oh my gosh, I did it. Look at this thing! <laughs> oh my gosh. Back off, everybody. That's pretty sweet. I wish I could see it in the light here. Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, and then... It has a shield bash. Kind of interesting. Can I upgrade this thing? I wonder. Uh, let's go to reinforce. I can't upgrade it, but it requires demon titanite and a lot of souls. I do have a lot of them. Now, I assume that basically what that's going to do is improve the damage of the bash... So that might actually be worth doing. Yeah, it improves it a bit. You know, it's not its not crazy. I don't know, maybe it's not worth doing. We'll wait and see, but now we've got a new shield. How's it look on my back? Pretty good. It's gigantic. I am going to be sad to say goodbye to my blood shield. Oh, look at this. I still have medium roll. Oh, well, that worked out. I was worried that it was going to have the... Uh, quote-unquote, fat roll, as people are, are calling it. Um, now then. Oh, I forgot. I actually haven't rested at this bonfire, so I could just use a homeward bone to get back home. Oh, it's my last one. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, something else that I realized, since we ran into the Maiden back in the catacombs, I should probably go and talk to the Thorland Cleric. I never remember his name. The guy over here, who originally was all distraught because she was gone. This guy. Let's see if he has anything different to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. Really? I'm surprised he doesn't have anything different to say after I rescued the maiden. I wonder where she is, too, because we found her, we left her there, and now maybe she's dead. I don't know. I have no idea. She didn't offer to come with us or anything. Okay. Let's get going here. 
I'm curious how the shield bash specifically works, too. Like, uh... Do I block while shield bashing? Anyway, let's get back to the new Londo Ruins. That's where I was before. The last episode, I... The last session, I died. Um, and I died again in the catacombs trying to farm for humanity, so... I lost whatever souls and humanity I had back there. I don't think it was a lot. It couldn't have been that much. All right, here we go. Oh, another thing. Um, it turns out I can actually upgrade my armor past plus five, so I'll probably be working on that. I still have yet to find any armor sets... Oh, hello. ...that I like better than the one that I'm wearing, you know? Currently, I'm wearing the black leather torso, the thief mask, uh, and I'm wearing the pyromancer manchets and the wanderer, uh, like, leggings, or wanderer boots, I think they're called. Not leggings. Oh, here we go. Let me get my curse ready. I've got it equipped. Ready to go. Whoops. I'm gonna keep accidentally pressing that button, <laughs> I guess. Quite spooky, the new Londo ruins. Oh, I better hurry. Oh, damn it. Just, just, yeah, just get on with it. <laughs> Come on now. I'm gonna have to heal already. What was that? Transient curses. Thank you. They drop pretty readily. I don't think I have to worry about them running out. I can kind of take my time. Uh, now this time, I can actually utilize that shortcut that we found that became a shortcut after we dropped down that, uh, that ladder. Oh, I missed. Get out! Oh, that missed me somehow. Right here. That's it. There's still an item that I have yet to figure out how to get to over here. I think I have to go to the roof and maybe drop down on the side. The other side that I've already experienced dropping down on. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should hold my shield up here. Yeah, there's an item right over there. I'm gonna try this jump again. This is where I died, trying to do this jump. Alright, here we go. I think it's the only way to get to the roof. Ah, oh, there we go. That's good. Oh, hi. Oh, they bounce off of the shield. Whoa! Why are there so many ghosts over here? Oh my gosh, this is a problem. Alright, let's back up. Regroup. Jesus. Oh, come on now. Don't, no, don't kick. Just regular hit. Oh... All right, I got two there. These ghosts can still be tough in numbers, that's for sure. All right, and we got to the roof. I'm really burning through my Estus here. Okay. I don't see any other way to get to this. Let's drop. Oh, watch out! Get him! Oh, thank goodness. We got the Curse Bite Ring. I already know what that does. That's going to give me resistance to curses. Despite the dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset and in its ability to to help prevent curses. It's commissioned by Sir Arstor of Kareem. Arstor the Impaler, as he is known. Now, what do we get down here? Uh, 
Oh. Oh, okay. So I could have just gone through there. Didn't this room have a bunch of ghosts in it at some point? No, this one does. Come on. Yep, come through the walls. You. Yeah, don't do your screaming thing, please. Alright, we can go up there. I'm crunching bones under my feet. You hear that? Oh, Jesus. I'm just burning through my Estus so much here. My weapon is slow enough that they have time to hit me before I actually can do anything to them as a counter. Okay, there's nothing there. Except, you know, ghosts trying to hit me through the ceiling. Where are the Ghostbusters when you need them? Oh, hello. Oh, my running attack is quick. Maybe I should be doing some more of that. Could be good. Now then, where was that ladder? Over here. I think that's what I want to take now. My long-term memory isn't too good, so I actually have completely forgotten the layout of this place since I played yesterday. Oh! I guess I didn't come here. Oh, I left an item. Those are probably transient curses over there. Hello. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Why, thank you. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Wow, he just gave us a bunch of information there. Okay, um, first of all, he is wearing the Crimson set that we found before in Blight Town, I think. He's also using the dagger that dropped from the ghosts, I think, that allow you to actually hurt them. And what looks to be a pylum of some sort in his right hand. Look at this. I'm on this side. Oh, I'm on this side. And uh, he also says something about Artorius and traversing the abyss. We actually went to the grave of Artorius and we got a ring. I was wondering when this was going to come up. It's where, like, Artorius himself, himself can traverse the abyss. So there's going to be some point where we need that ring, it seems. That's what he's telling us. And we need to open the floodgates. We actually, he gave us the key to open the floodgates. Uh, key to the floodgates of New Londo, which seal away the four kings who fell to the dark. The sealers flooded New Londo to banish the dark wraiths and the four kings. The agonizing decision was made with the realization that countless lives and the robust culture of the city would be lost. The victims now roam the ruins as ghosts. That is pretty terrible. To, to get to, basically for the greater good, to get rid of the dark wraiths, they had to kill off an entire city that just happened to be sitting above where the abyss is located. And that's why they had to die. And so yeah, those are the ghosts that we're fighting, the old uh, denizens of the city. All right, we're gonna have to go back over here. Was it over here that I had to go? No, this was just an item. I have to go back up here and then to the left. 
Oh, my curse ran out. Let's put that back on. Aha, I caught it this time. <laughs> the other two times that happened, I didn't notice until I actually got hit. We have an elevator, which I assume is not going to work. Oh, oh, what what am I looking at here? Oh, this is the Valley of the Drakes. Look at that. Was that always there on that side? I don't remember that being there. I guess so. Composite bow. That's cool. Um, C and C scaling. So it actually is much better for me. Can I still medium roll with that? Yeah, I can. So this bow actually would scale decently with my stats if I upgraded it. It would actually be an okay bow. Look, I'm already getting 100 points of damage from scaling, even without upgrading it. So that's actually a very good find. Emphasizing power requires more strength than standard bows. However, its range is shorter, making it unfit for sniping. I haven't actually had too many opportunities where a target has been very far away and I had to pull them to me. Because what they seem to do in this game is make it so that enemies don't are kind of tethered until you get a certain distance away from them. Like, I'll shoot them with the bow and they'll just stand there, unless I get closer. Does not move. Oh, look at that. It's in water. So I'm going to have to activate this after I release the floodgates, or open the floodgates. And get rid of, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, this is it. Well, that was fast. Okay. Okay. Oh, my mind just imploded with awesomeness and realization. That's the gate where I was so confused what the heck was going on, why it didn't open. That's why it was holding back like a crap ton of water. Amazing. Open the gates. Okay. Uh, does this contraption move now? It does! Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, camera. You just calm right down. Let's go. Down to the lower parts of New Londo. What are we going to find down here? Oh my gosh, look at all of the, the drowned corpses of the people who used to live in the city. Need head. There's the drakes. I don't want to mess with the... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's a dark wraith. Oh yeah. I've got your number. No chance. My build currently is very adept at fighting large and slow enemies. Not so much the fast enemies like the ghosts, but big enemies, I got it. Got it covered. Can I get up here maybe? No. A bit disrespectful, just kind of trudging along all of these corpses. But what choice do I have? There's so many of them. They're everywhere. Just littering the streets here. See, this is why we have fines for littering. Okay. No dumping your bodies out on the street. Just like a normal person, cut it up and split it up into multiple dumpsters throughout the city. The animals. It's good that they made the bottom of this place seem very mossy and everything. Like, you can tell it's been underwater for a long time. How'd this guy die? Just fighting a Dark Wraith, probably? Oh, dark hallway. Oh, hi! <laughs> I 
I got him. That's the dark hand. Ooh, look how cool that looks. Look at that. Goodbye. Oh, he blocked it. That dark hand is a much better shield than it is in the uh, in Dark Souls 3. Oh, back up here. Oh my gosh, he does a lot of damage. That was surprising. All right, come here. Okay. A white light already? What's the message say? Dark Wraith. <laughs> you got that right. This little bottom area seems so small. Is that really it? I didn't see any obvious paths. Let's go. Shield up, shield up. What's going to happen here? Are we just like in Dark Wraith City now? Probably. Yeah, here they come. Titanite Chunk. What is that? Wait, maybe we can sneak up on this guy. Yep. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> it's coming for me. Look at that. Is this just some sort of abomination created from... A, uh, like, the, the conglomerate of a bunch of these corpses here. That's what it seems like. What are you doing? Making me nervous here. And now it's dead. Oh, it summoned exploding skulls! Look at that. I didn't even notice. Here, why don't you just go ahead and blow up? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that body went flying. Just a little place to hide. Maybe these are like the living quarters of the Dark Wraiths. They're minimalists, you know. They don't really need anything. Oh, he blocked me. Oh! Oh, jeez. Really? Really? There we go. Could there really be nothing to do with these rooms? Maybe there's a hidden wall? I just realized that my shield bash, one of the great things about it, is I can use my shield to look for hidden walls. It's faster, and I won't have to worry about breaking my weapon. The shield, I think, has a ton of durability. Let's see. Yeah, it has 600 durability. Whereas, it's half as much for my, my sword. And I use it a lot more. Okay. Humanity, thank you. Pull lever. I guess that's if the elevator is not currently down, but it is. Instead, let's check this side out. Quite dark. Wow, okay. This place is pretty big. We'll check this side out now. What was that? I heard that. It sounded like the skulls, actually, the red skulls that can blow up. Here. 
a very large ember. Okay, so that will allow us maybe to make plus 15 weapons, I'm guessing. Or maybe even something higher than that. Uh, I'm in the wrong spot here. Ember required for weapon ascension. Huge ember of highest quality handled by the blacksmiths of Astora. Ascension for plus 10 standard weapons. Allows reinforcements plus 15. On par with the greatest weapons of legend. Very cool. So you can make an ordinary weapon into something that stands up to great weapons of legend. Kind of like the two that I'm using. The Black Knight Greatsword and the Shield of Artorias. These are legendary weapons. So they don't require ascension to be super, super awesome here. Alright, time to go back and maybe check out the uh, elevator. It'll probably reach the other side where I can... Or, or did I just go right and now I can go left? Is there a way to go left? Yeah, okay. Well, that's easy enough. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Oh, but we can't access whatever's over there. So now let's go check out the elevator. Oh, and actually, before I do, what else do we have down here? So we got the elevator there. Let me try and get a, a good handle on things down on this bottom floor. What do we have over here? Oh, this just le like leads out into the water. Do I want to go there just yet? I'm actually very glad that we don't have to deal with the ghosts anymore. That was pretty annoying. All right, I'll do the elevator. Oh, come on. I'm gonna need the curse again. And I thought we were done. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. This is a shortcut. Uh, this is the elevator that led into the water that we found before, right? Right? Yeah. Actually, I'm not so sure. Let me just take a peek over here. Okay, yeah, I know exactly where we are. So this opens a shortcut so that if we die, we can come back here a lot faster. Let's just go right back down. Oh no, where is it? Where is the elevator? I'm lost. Aw, oh, damn it. This is not good. What happened to the elevator? Oh, okay. We're good. Found it. All is well. All right, in that case, I guess we will go out here. Pretty low on Estus. But I assume at some point I'm just gonna die and then I can get back here pretty easily with full Estus. Full of a proud knight. You, come here. Oh my gosh. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> See? I knew it was about time for me to die. I wasn't worried about running out of Estus. It's not a problem. Now then. Getting back there should just be a hop, skip, and a jump away. Or elevator ride, to be more precise.
You know, it's almost like the little divot in the top of my shield is meant just so I can rest my sword there nice and easily when it's on my back. Hang on, I just want to see if I have any other embers to turn in to people. Nope. I wonder if there's anything to be found now that the water is down. It's possible that there's actually drop-down sections that I could explore, you know? Aw, oh, for crying out loud. They're so fast. I really don't need to mess with any of these. I'm just gonna run past. Thank you. Oh, this is not the right way. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, oh, damn it! What is wrong with me? I should have just taken it slow. They mob you to death. Ah! Oh. All of a sudden, it just seemed like the situation seemed fine, and then all of a sudden, it was it was really bad. Woo! All right. Well, here we go again. Still challenges to be had. That's for sure. I was just thinking about this the other day. Where, be the way that the game is designed, you're able to explore areas in very different orders, which makes some areas uh, very drastically more or less difficult, depending on when you go there. Like, for instance, the catacombs were pretty hard for me, but then when I went to the demon ruins in Lost Isolith, that place was actually very easy, but I imagine it would be harder if I went there earlier, which you can do. And then also this place. I could have come here a long time ago as well, but instead I'm doing it very late in the game. I expected it to be easy, but it's still pretty, pretty hard. Doesn't matter how strong you are, those ghosts are still a challenge. It's a tactical challenge more than it is a, uh, like a challenge from an RPG perspective, where if you haven't built your character up, it's just not possible. This is just about playing well. You could probably do this area at a very low level if you play well, or you could die in it at a high level if you, you play poorly. Uh, good design, I think. Oh, right, right, right. I learned my lesson. No, no, I haven't. I've already died. What do I have to lose? I'm just gonna run. Now, I have to go left after I go down this hallway up ahead. Not right. Look at him rising up. Also, I don't think my shield does anything right now. Oh, crap. Elevator's not up. Well, that sucks. Go, 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 go! Oh my gosh! Alright, hopefully the ghosts will stay up there and I can be down here. Let's all just mind our own business, shall we? You go on with your life, I'll go on with my- Oh, crap! I've got more than one. Hmm. All right, one's down. Let's get around him. Oh, Jesus. They're so fast. Come here.
Okay, well, at least we're back here. Oh, I can't get that? I have to go up and then drop back down, I suppose. Let's leave this... <laughs> let's leave this alone for now. The place where I died. Cracked red eye orbs for invading. Jeez, it's just dark great city, huh? Oh, he tried to kick me. My shield is way too strong for that, buddy. Oh, I need to learn that that does not kill them in one hit. I'm in trouble here. I need to get around him. Heal. Darn. There we go. I hear noises. These noises make me feel uncomfortable. Kind of like slimy, squishy noises, you know? Nobody likes to hear that. There's a fog gate up there. Oh shoot, I just dropped back down to the beginning. Rats. Alright, I have to go back up through here now. What was that? Is there one following me? Oh yeah. Darn it! He's just so darn quick. Why are you so fast? Like, he can attack- I can hit him and then he can attack me before I even have a chance to recover. They don't stagger very easily. But they drop Titanite chunks, like that's really good. The big blob monster does not respawn. That's interesting. All right, maybe I want to try the right side this time. Or not, there's nothing here. Oh, but we can like go like this. There we go. Nothing here still? Seems like it. I'll try this again. I learned my lesson. Let's actually just kind of back up here into a bigger area to fight him. Tighten a chunk. Possibly two if that Dark Wraith actually drops one. Another blob monster over there. Darn it. There's multiple. And there's ghosts. Oh my gosh. That's annoying. I'm gonna run a little bit here. All right, I got both of them. Let's use Curse. I want to be able to deal with the, all of this crap. Watch out! Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. 
Come on. Stop that with the, uh... Oh, what the hell? I'm slow. I'm slow because of the sludge. Oh, I'm still slow. It's hurting me, too. Oh, did it hit me? Okay. We're good. Thank goodness. I wonder what those are called. Come on, detonate. There we go. Wanted to see if there's anything behind me. Man, so this is the place to go if you want to get Titanite Chunks. That's for sure. I can't take this. Hello. Alright, watch out. My recovery is slow. What do we have over here? Any stairs? No, it doesn't look like it. Drop downs? Nope, that's just the beginning. I think there might be it, except for the fog wall. Imminent ring. Where is this going? <laughs> I thought that was going to break on me. I was really scared about that. Um, hello? Shield up. It just ends. Well, I am going to cut it and end the episode here before we go down into the into this well, what I assume is the abyss. I think next episode I'm gonna I'm gonna throw on that ring and I'm gonna chuck myself down here and see what happens. Um thank you guys very much for watching. See you in the next one.